Morning everybody, we're here on a really cold December day. I'm here with Andy Crow. Morning Andy. Morning Dave. Yeah, we had a really nice day uh, on the pheasants at uh, Norton Towers yesterday on our family day. And I noticed Andy were pulling some really nice birds down with these uh, cartridges. And uh, what, what were you using Andy? These are the Pigeon Extreme. Yeah. Um, they're fives, 32 grams. And yeah. uh, they pattern really well and they do kill especially on the high stuff, and yeah. um, I do like them. Yeah, I thought, we, you know, Andy's uh, he's been stopping with us for a couple of days, I thought we'll, we'll put these on the pattern plate, see what they look like uh, uh, you know, on the pattern plate. I've seen what they look like on the birds, they seem to do a, a good job. Um, be interesting to see what pattern they it, it'd be interesting, we're going to pattern yeah. them at 55 yard, yeah. do the same test as we normally do, Yeah. pattern and penetration, yeah. we'll, we'll use a DVD. Yeah. And uh, let's see what they like, mate. Yeah. Okay. The pattern plate I'm using today is, uh, unfortunately, I've run out of my white ones. I'm waiting for the order to come in, but these are just as good. It's the same thickness of card, slightly smaller, but uh, it'll serve the purpose. It's a retail material, is this? A DVD. Yeah. We get two or three. I'm quite happy with that. You know, yeah. some people, oh, we want seven or eight on a, you know, that's all right. It. At 25, 30, yards. <laughs> yeah, you, will, yeah. you will get yeah, 89 right. pellets on a, on, a, yeah. on a pigeon. Yeah. <clears throat> We're talking shooting a little bit longer distances, yeah. 55, 60 yards sometimes. Yeah. And uh, it's nice to see what we can get on a pattern plate at, uh, at 55, 55 yards yeah, and, uh, and the damage that they do That's right, it's the to a DVD. Yeah. And if, yeah. for me, if, the, if, if, it the that, if it goes through that, yeah. that's good enough for me. It's going to break right. bone and. Yeah. And get to the vital parts <coughs> of a game bird anyway. Now this is uh, one of my <coughs> miracles with the uh, the MK60 uh, battles, 18.4 in the bore. You know what we like to use on with, with uh, fibre wads. This is a plastic wad, but it won't make any difference. Uh, one thing about plastic is very versatile, and you can use it in your other bores, 18.7, 18.8 or whatever they are, and these will always make a seal. When we go into fiber, Andy, we always we always like to go into that the 18.4 in the bore, yeah, as you yeah. know, it's, yeah. it seals a lot better. It does, yeah. And it uh, keeps them, that penetration down range a lot better. Yeah. Right, same again, and I'm gonna just aim below the disc When I did pull the trigger, I just jerked it a little bit, which shot probably on the target. Yeah. Uh, but it's thrown the pattern where I like it anyway. Yeah. 55 yard, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six pellets on that disc. They've smashed it. I mean, that have, wouldn't, I don't care whether that's that's that were a enough. pigeon pheasant or whatever, that would that be, be dead. Dead, dead. It's as simple as yeah. that. And, and as I say, I'm quite happy where that's thrown the pattern. I haven't got the pattern down here at all, but on a moving bird, you're moving the gun anyway, you, be, you want to be throwing, looking to throw your pattern there anyway. Yeah. You know, yeah. or there, or that side, that's that right, side. Yeah. I, yeah. My pattern's always chucked that side, but that's a right-handed shooter. Yeah. The left yeah. hooker, might, his pattern might be that side, but yeah. it doesn't matter. It'll still find the bird. Take no notice of that below. That's right. ideal, because yeah. we not we don't want to shoot behind a bird, because that's, that's, right. that's below it. Yeah. And them's hitting hard as well. They are, you see. When I've got smoke see, on back that's here... That's right, they've all got smoke on. Yeah, they're hitting hard as <clears> them, <throat> and you'll see the deformation in the pellet here. That really has hit it hard, though, hasn't it? It's turned them pellets inside out. Yeah. So I, I had a full confidence in using them on, any, on anything. Yeah. You know, look at that. Yeah. It's what I call pancake. That is. You know, similar similar pattern to what I've got with the with the grouse, and yeah. similar performance really. Yeah. Uh, but a plastic instead of a fibre. That's right. But you see how tight this pattern is. Yeah, it's you lovely, know, isn't it? Very, there's nothing they'll get through that at all. No. Yeah, you know, it's a no, lovely, it it's a lovely concentrated pattern. Is that? That's through my gun. We're going to try another one through yours, and just see because yeah. you use half and three quarters. I was on the half and three quarters yesterday. Yeah. Right, we're going to put the Andy's going to put the um, the extreme pigeon five through his blazer half choke and just see what pattern this throws. Good lad. 
ain't bad for half turkey. That's I think that's a nice even <laughs> pattern half joke. It yeah. is, isn't it? It's a... Well, when you look at that, you've got you've got four four pellets on there. You've got yep. six with your, with the with my full joke. Yeah. Mine that's thrown it a little bit tighter that way. Yeah. If you notice, yours is is evenly sort of spread. It is, isn't it? It's not concentrated in that thing there. So, but that's yeah. I'd be quite happy to shoot that at anything really. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice pattern actually. That it is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. for half choke. Yeah, it's a bloody good pattern. But the pellet uh, deformation is exactly exactly the same. It's yeah. it's absolutely shredded and flattened them. So it is, isn't it? Anything from 35, 55 yards, a good pattern. The dead bird. Yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. yeah you get a real concentration at 35 yards and 40 yards. It'd be a lovely pattern. That it would, yeah. Subscribe and stay tuned for our next pattern and penetration test. This one will be the controversial one, plastic versus fibre.